have to come together to like have that end goal like together and I think just having like multiple people with different backgrounds and stuff especially like me coming from a smaller town and I feel like everyone was like cut from the same cloth you could say or just like the same um, coming to like a division one university and just like learning to like meet new people and accept people for who they are and like their role on the team and um, whatever that may look like and who they are and like where they come from I think has been a really good learning experience for me and just taught me that like all of our differences can like come together and we can do something really like powerful with that. Uh, you can draw from those and once you have a person who's able to share all of those sort of things, uh, they become a better version of themselves and each team needs better individuals in order to uh, collectively impact the whole. And having the specific individuals with specific experiences help contribute. In order to create good like team chemistry and like being able to like work together, especially for a team sport like softball, um, you need to be able to like support each other like no matter like the differences like off the field so like and like getting to know like your teammates and like supporting them and their identities and who they are as a person off the field can also like help on the field with that team chemistry and like working together and building your program but then you come somewhere else and you meet people who come from different backgrounds and have different types of social norms and now you can learn from them because they're cut from a different cloth so possibly their experiences and where they come from could help benefit you in some positive way. I think that kind of like channels into to like educating yourselves on like other people's experiences because sometimes it's easy to get like we've kind of talked about it but like to get caught up in like your own world your little bubble um, you get caught up in your bubble and you're not you're not even noticing some of the things that are going on around you so like educating yourselves on others experiences um, whether it's someone who has a different background as you is different race different um, religion whatever it is like just making sure like you're like putting in the effort to like get to know them and like educate yourself on like the differences in like what they have to go through on an everyday basis versus you. Having those like intentional like side conversations I think are really taken for granted but then I think about when someone does that to me that I don't normally talk to and like how like cared for you feel and how you feel like you belong and I think just like being intentional about like the people we're around and like the conversations that we can have with the platform that we do have is like really important and like taking right. a step to making sure like everyone feels like they belong. You don't have to tell like your deepest darkest secrets but just like being real and raw um, like a rose bud and a thorn like you and the Paul Walters do like being honest then it's three simple things but if you're honest about struggling that day with anxiety then two days later just having someone be able to, like hey has your anxiety been better in the last two days or are you still feeling the same like and then obviously being curious so that they're uh willing to share whether that's how they're feeling today, how they were coached in the past, where they're from, uh, anything really. And that can sort of help lead to that sense of belonging if everybody is being uh, positive, curious, and vulnerable with that. It just allows people to share and be who they are. 